We're here at the Yoga Collective with celebrity trainer Sadie Lincoln, who's going to show us a few simple moves to get gorgeous legs and arms. With just handheld light weights as a prop, join us in our CrossFit Sugar 10 minute workout. Okay, are you ready for your arm and lower body workout? Let's start with our feet hip distance apart. Lift up nice and tall. You'll want those light handheld weights in your hands. We're gonna start with a Pilates roll. So drop your chin, roll your shoulders, draw the waist in, bend the knees, and just draw down like a rag doll. Be heavy over your legs, push your feet and your knees, and roll right back up. Stacking that spine, training our body tall. Again, drop your chin, roll your shoulders, draw the waist in, round the back, bend the knees. Push your feet, draw it up through the core, and roll up one vertebra at a time. Let's do a couple shoulder rolls. So lift your shoulders up and roll back, up and roll back, and we'll take a big step out for a turnout. So this is called horse pose. You bring your toes at two and 10 o'clock, bend your knees, draw your tailbone down, squeeze your belly in, and just hold here and we'll do some plies. So we're gonna drop the back down an imaginary wall and then lift up. Here we go, a little faster. Drop and lift, drop and lift. That's it. Now Sadie, how far down do we have to go in these plies? That's such a good question, Z. So you can just go even an inch, it doesn't matter. It's never about how far or low you go, it's about doing it with an upright spine. So long spine first. That's it, okay, are you ready for dancer's arms? Let's hold it down. Draw the waist in and reach the arms above your head with soft elbows. So think about that long dancer's neck and try to keep it there. Squeeze the belly in and we'll pull the elbows just halfway down and lift. Pull halfway down and lift. Now as we pull the elbows, we're gonna lift up and down. Lift up and down. Literally like you're pulling yourself up. See if you can squeeze your inner thighs, drop the tailbone down and lift up through the crown of the head. Beautiful. Keep the knees tracking over those toes. Do we need weights for this or is this a good workout on its own? You don't need weights. In fact, you can do this whole thing without weights and get amazing sculpted arms. If you feel out of control at all, please set the weights down. Many of my clients do, including me. All right, two more. Okay, let's hold it down, hold here. Reset, push those feet, drop the tailbone, squeeze the belly, and bring those elbows halfway down and reach the arms straight. Okay, we're gonna work the chest. So squeeze the arms in and then open out faster. In and out, in and out. So really squeeze the chest. So you're working your pecs here. It's a nice way to strengthen the front line of the body. Gorgeous. Ooh, I can really feel this in my entire arm too. Yeah, it, you can feel it in your entire arm. Really your entire body. So we're big on multitasking. You're working all different muscles at once for great efficiency, okay? Are we ready to hold it out? Hold right here. Now flip your pinkies up and just bring your arms forward a little Z. Yep, that's it. So you're kind of in a V here. Draw the waist in and we'll lift up and back, up and back. We're doing a V pose for Z. <laughs> v <Okay>. and Z. <laughs> okay, four more. Three, two, and we'll hold. Hold right there, draw the waist in and let's step the heels together. Okay, this is called Narrow V. It's Lottie Burke inspired. So you're gonna bring your toes about four inches apart. You've got a little slice of pizza between your feet. We're gonna bend the knees, come down a little bit lower and just hold right here. And lift the heels just a little bit off the floor. So this is a bar three twist. I want you to push your heels as much as you possibly can. So we wanna go in the back line of the body more than the quads. Squeeze the belly in, tailbone down, and come down a little lower. Let's work the biceps, are you guys ready? Okay, let's pull in and reach, in and reach. Keep your carriage nice and upright and the shoulders out of the ears, so drop your shoulders down. So this takes a little bit of balance if you haven't already noticed. That's good, so finding balance in your body is a big core principle in bar three. So we're always working the body in balance so we're perfectly proportioned and we have nice, strong, stable spines and upright posture our whole life. Okay, let's add the legs. So we're gonna bend and lift, bend and lift. So I like to think of myself like a puppet here. Someone's pulling me up from the crown of the head with a string. See if you can zip your inner thighs together as you lift up and find those good, strong inner thighs leading up to the core right through the crown of the head. 
Now, squeezing our heels together when we're lifted. That's a really great tip. Yeah, so if you squeeze your heels together, do you feel the backs of your legs? I do, I really do. Yeah, and I'm big on working the hamstring and glutes more than the quads, because we tend to be bulkier in the quadricep and less developed in the hamstrings. So we're balancing it out here. Okay, two more and then we'll move on. Last one, nice work, sink the heels down. Let's go into sumo wrestler. So bring your feet a little wider than your hips. Whew. Okay, push the heels and draw the hips back. Squeeze the belly in and dig those heels. So it's all about the actions in the body here. You wanna lift your toes, really hollow out the belly and reach those arms into a V, okay? Now we're gonna pull and squeeze the elbows together and reach a little faster. Pull and reach, pull and reach. Look at my toes, they're slightly elevated. Yours should be too. See if you can really weight the heels here and drop your hips back like you're sitting your butt in a bucket, <laughs> okay? So it's almost like a squat. It is, it's a lot like a squat, exactly. And we call it sumo wrestler because I don't know why, it reminded me of a sumo wrestler because we all, as women, want to look like sumo wrestlers, right? Right, absolutely, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what I'm going for. <laughs> okay, so, but it is, it's an earthy, grounded posture. Here we go, press back, lift, press back, lift. Four more, lift, three, lift, Two, okay, let's get down in sumo and pull the elbows back, little pulses. Squeeze back, squeeze, 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 that's it, good. Ooh. And this is really all about the back here too. It is, it's all about your lats in between your rhomboids, the serratus which connect to the core. It's about having a flat tummy and a strong back. That's what we want. Uh-huh, okay. Let's stand tall and we'll turn to the side for carousel horse. Let's start in primary posture. Our feet are under the hips, soften the knees. Your hips are level and square, and your shoulders stack over the hips. Go ahead and take your right leg back, bend your knee right under your hip, and hold. So you wanna make that knee kinda close to the hip, but if that aggravates your knee, just take a step back, okay? Squeeze your belly in, pull the elbows back behind you, and hold. Now extend the arms straight, and then bend halfway. Extend the arms straight, and bend, and then we'll reach, bend down, and reach, yeah. So we're just gonna add some movement here in our lower body. Now Sadie, I've seen when people do this move, they think that they have to lean their body over their leg to uh -huh. really get into the tricep. We're very upright here, right? We are very upright, and I'm big on training the body tall. Training that body with a good, tall, upright posture. None of us wanna shrink as we age. We all wanna stand nice and tall. Let's just do four more and reach. Three, you look beautiful, you guys. Two, and we'll hold it down, extend the arms straight, hug the muscles into the bone here and lift that front heel. See if you can hold here in releve. Big balance challenge, okay? Ooh. So see if you can hold it and then just lift the arms straight back, straight back, oh my gosh. Here we go, four more. And what is this shaking? Three. This shaking is your body fatiguing, yeah. and we call this bar three earthquake. So let's sink nice. that heel down and lift up into our warrior three. And with this warrior three pose, you want your hips to be focused downward, right? That's right, right hip point down, squeeze the belly in, and we'll lift up tall and bring the feet together Ooh. for the other side, okay? So let's bring that left foot back, bend the right knee over the ankle, drop down, squeeze the belly in, and lift up tall. So you'll kind of wobble around, that's okay. You can always use a chair for balance or follow us and bring your elbows behind you and we'll do the same thing. We're gonna reach those arms straight and then drop down and lift. You got it, bend and lift, going right into it this side. So see if you can stabilize your elbows behind you. Control the arms, no swinging. Nice. And you really want to make sure your knee doesn't go beyond your toes, right? That's right. So you want to make sure your knee stays right over that front ankle. That's great alignment, good for knee health, and a way to make this whole posture more efficient. Okay, two more. Let's hold it down, hold it here, and extend the arm straight and lift that right heel up. See if you can balance. I know it's a challenge. Draw the waist in, and maybe lift the arms up an inch up. Little pulses back behind you, that's it. That's an option, you don't have to. Firm the belly in. Just four, three, two, and we'll hold. Hold right there. Now press that front heel down and lift the back leg up. 
drop your hip point, try to square off and reach the arms behind you. Power through the right leg. You wanna look forward to stabilize, right? I mean, that's, that's a good tip that I use. I love that tip. Look forward to stabilize and pull the shoulders out of the ears. And we'll all stand nice and tall. Let's face the center and do one shoulder roll. Lift up and exhale back. Good job. Great job, Z. Thank you, what a workout. Try out these moves and let us know what you think. See you next time on Fit Sugar TV.